Okay, just open the door. So as you open the door, there's a little wear right here on the side. It's obvious for you know good reason. It's in the entryway. We've got mirrors. Now oh, that's nice. The Wayne's coating. Nice touch. Door opens up over front of a closet. So we got a coat closet here. Built in uh, shelving around the fireplace. We'll have to look at the uh, MLS info to make sure this is still working in this fireplace. This is old school right here. We got this lamp hooked up. It's got the fan, but no light, and a light right there over the door. Nice big bay window there. The mirrors could come down. You know, it's just something that some people like, some people don't like. Let's go into this kitchen. Straight ahead is the kitchen. So as I walk in on the left, we've got cabinets on the wall. Lots of cabinets. Whole kitchen is cabinets. Cabinets hiding behind cabinets. All right, cook top. porcelain sink you've got room to update here you could do a microwave right there with the fan built in take this puppy out and you don't have to have this anymore fridge got some age to it okay. see this overhead light decided to use a lamp. Do they have a light? The house expands off the back. So we've got parquet flooring. They built all this on to the back of the house in the second fireplace. My thought on this is if you don't like this parquet flooring you put a rug down. This is where the washer and dryer hookup is. Got a little cubby so you can see through on the outside of the kitchen. Washer and dryer. I was gonna say a hot water heater and that's what it is. It looks like a new one. It's good that they have these items next to each other. It's a good size room. I see a lot of potential with this. Like I said, you can you can mask some things. I mean, put a nice carpet down and this thing would be cozy. It's a wood burning fireplace. Massive. I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> more shelving, more cab, uh, more uh, storage. As you see, they've taken all of the uh, binding doors <coughs> um, off the tracks. This one had two doors. And then this bedroom has a closet. And it had the doors. So yeah, this bedroom's off the back of the house. Got a window looking out the backyard. You see the school parking lot back there. Another matching closet. Electrical box. Blends into the wall pretty well. So this is the, I'm gonna call this the owner suite because this is obviously not original. It was put in or added. 
I gotta say, it's, you know, it was a good, well thought out thing. They have this off of this, they have more living space. It's not done recently. This is an older upgrade or renovation rather. You know, the cabinets can use some updating. Got a nice size counter there for the vanity. Oh yeah, that's ceramic. Shower enclosure is dated. All right, going back into the original part of the house. We're gonna see probably smaller rooms up front. not going to work as a closet because it's got air handler, the vents, I mean uh, the uh, lines being run for, for air. Okay, original tub and shower, you know, original everything in here. I mean everything. Lighting. The floor looks like it's got some pretty good wear to it. Sun's been baking the inside of this window, so it's got the gaskets are popping off on it. Front bedroom would work like as an office. It's got overhead light in here. They've painted the rooms. Faces the street and the neighbors. We got a linen closet here. Got pull down access above the hallway and the hallway, and then we've got a little bit bigger room. It's a pretty good size room, actually. Got a fan, looks like they had probably a carpet down on this. They've taken it up, but they we need to do a better job standing on the floor. And final, yeah, that's it. I'm walking through it. There's some things with it. I mean, this this is where a dog is chewed on this, and they just painted it. We got some issues with the sliding door. Definitely got some age to it. Give me a second when I figure this door out. Oh God. I'm getting over a cold and I ain't been right yet. I off my brain at the house. All right, here we go. Back porch has got some, some issues. Not back porches, see I'm still messing up talking. Steps are crumbling here around the back. This is the entry into the garage through the door. There's some, there's some stuff with this house, man. You know, we've got board on the bottom here. It's exposed. There's no this is just exposed. It's loose. yard but this tree is real close to the garage and the best thing to do with that tree is get it cut down As you can see the uh, aluminum siding is coming off the front of this thing most garages are as is anyway
Look at the size of this thing. Wow. And then it's got a bathroom. It's a project, but it's got, a, I mean, it's got some stuff with it now. I can't see what I'm looking at. It looks like they had a washer and maybe a dryer hookup out here. A generator? I don't know what that is. It's too dark. I actually can see better um, through my phone than I can looking right at it. Strange. Um, I'm not going in this bathroom, but it's the start of a bathroom and it's a toilet and a sink. This thing has got lights. Obviously it had water, or an attempt of water because it's got plumbing. Um, just this tree, so far it hasn't affected the inside of this, uh, the flooring in here, because this is a concrete slab. Lots of potential in this garage. Ah, we're seeing some things here though. That's concrete that's lifting. They'd have to do a lot of repairs on this house. Hmm. Looks like it's on a well. Clean out for the plumbing. Yeah, the shed and it's all fenced in. I don't know. I think they're a little high on the price. I, I, I can see why they would price it where they priced it, but this is going to take a very particular buyer some love it has great potential if you have the vision to make these rooms and turn this thing into something fancier and nicer but it's going to take some TLC I'll get you the video